What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and today I got the Los Angeles Chargers. Big news, once again, we've been getting so much news recently, but Khalil Mack is looking like he's gonna be traded to the Chargers. I don't think it's technically official yet, um, but supposedly a trade was agreed to, uh, I think a second round pick and maybe a sixth round pick, something like that for Khalil Mack. I love this Chargers team now. There's so much talent. I love Derwin James, Joey Bosa, phenomenal. Khalil Mack, he can still be a beast. He's not quite what he once was, but he's still really solid. Asante Samuel Jr., he looked good as a starting corner. Um, he looked like he could be uh, he could be really solid. Nasir Adderley, Chris Harris, they have a ton of talent. I really, really like what's going on with this team. Offensively, of course, too. Mike Williams signed. Uh, he re-signed, I think, what, three years, like 60 million or something like that. But that's their big time, uh, big time receiver with Keenan Allen, Eckler. You just gotta love this team. There's so much talent. Not to say there's not things we need to fix. We gotta fix up the offensive line a little more. Those uh, three spots, other than uh, Slater and Lindsley, are a little scary. So we got some work that's gotta be done. But I really think we're gonna make it back to the Super Bowl quick. We're gonna run this first season. We're gonna see if we can, uh, if we can get there this year. If we can't. We'll run it back after the off season and hopefully we'll make it back in year two. Um, if you guys enjoy content like this, please drop a like, drop a sub. Helps me out, makes these videos way more fun and uh, I really would appreciate it. I don't think we're gonna make any trades. I think we're just gonna run it with this team. So I will see you guys at the playoffs and hopefully we've made them. All right, first season is done and we are actually not very good. Seven and 10, honestly so much worse than I was hoping. We're gonna hop into the off season, try to fix up this team and uh, see how we can do. All right, I like what we got going in free agency. There's a lot of players that we could really use that could really boost this team up. Um, there's no crazy, crazy superstars. It's a little unfortunate, uh, but we can get some guys that are gonna be impact players for us, at least this next year, which is probably the only year we're gonna run after this. Uh, we get Mike Hughes, one of the young, talented players that we got. Um, there's honestly not a whole lot of other young guys that I was going after. Most of them were kind of older. We get Koo, we get needed help at kicker, we needed help on the defensive lines. So we got a few pieces, few depth pieces. Ertz at tight end, he's gonna honestly replace Jared Cook, I let him walk. Uh, Casey Hayward, there's a big time corner that's gonna come back in. He's gonna be a big time impact player for us, I fully believe that. Reed at D-tackle, Ricard at fullback, and Fox at punter. It's all the moves we made, I like it. It kind of gives us the freedom to do whatever we want in the draft, which is nice. Um, so we're gonna go there, and we're gonna run the draft, see who we can get to add to the team. All right, we are at the draft. We're gonna hop in. I honestly don't know what I'm looking for, I feel like. Let's see, Hutch goes one. Our pick is, our first pick is 10. Thibodeau goes right there. Hamilton, Neil, Egwanu, Stingley. That would have been nice. I would have liked Stingley. Kinda don't need him though, so probably fine. Jordan Davis would have been really nice. All right, we're here. Let's see who we got. See who's on the board. Um, Carl Loftus, that's not a bad pick. Oh my Gardner, that'd be nice to get that young cornerback duo. But I still don't feel like it's that necessary. I feel like we need to hit offensive line. I feel like going after someone like Linderbaum and moving him around would be a good idea. Kenyon Green would be nice too. So would uh, Zion Johnson. We don't need a center. I don't want to just take guys and push them out of position. So we're just actually going to reach down the board and go Zion Johnson, who's someone I like a lot. Uh, I think he's decent in this draft class. I'm not totally sure. That probably feels like a reach, but he wouldn't have been available at our second round pick. And I wanted to make sure we got an offensive lineman to help out uh, Herbert. So I like it. I know these tackles aren't great, so I'm not going to go after them. I might go after Kennard. We could hit up Christian Harris too. That'd be nice. Corner would be nice too, man. Um, there's actually a lot that I need. Shoot, <clears throat> how many more picks do we have? We only have our own. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're gonna go Christian Harris. We're gonna try to team him up with. Uh, we're gonna team him up with Kenneth Murray. I don't like that normal development, but besides that, he looks really good. Uh, we're. Hopefully that's a hit. I mean, I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Um, uh, probably wasn't where I should have gone. Uh, selection, I do want to get a third receiver for Herbert too. Let's see what receivers are on the board. David Bell in the third round feels like a steal. I'm going straight for it. David Bell in the third round, I like that a lot. 
looks like this draft class doesn't love him. Um, again, I like that a lot in real life. Here, not great, but I love getting a third receiver like that. I think that's I think that's a great move for the Chargers if they can do that. Um, Chad Muma, I should have just waited and taken him. Same with Damone Clark. Uh, I like Wright, but he's not going to be the answer here. Who could I go with? Who could I go with? We still need defensive help. Ah, I think we just try to build around. Uh, I think we just try to build around Herbert. We're gonna take another guard. He does not look like he's good. Cade Mays looks rough. Uh, it's fine. It's fourth round talent. We're not mad. I'm gonna simulate to the end of the draft. We're gonna set the lineup and we're gonna run this next season. We've got to be better. Our overall is way higher. So. I think we're going to make the playoffs pretty easily, and hopefully these young guys can develop into even better players for us, and then we can make a run in the playoffs, but I'll see you guys there. All right, this season ends, and it looks like we were so much better. It looks like we got a first round by, so I'm hyped about that. That is massive improvement, which our overall went way up, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, let's see how we did, see who, uh, who carried. Herbert looks like he had a great year. Yeah, absolutely. 36-9 is awesome. 14 touchdowns for Eckler. Love to see it. Not crazy yards, but no big deal. 10 touchdowns for Mike Williams. Good year for Keenan Allen. Zach Ertz. That was a big impact pickup. And David Bell. Nine touchdowns and almost 800 yards as a rookie. That is beautiful. That is what we love to see. Asante Samuel. He balled out. Look at Khalil Mack, man. Look at Khalil Mack. This defense. Woo. Beautiful. You love that. Derwin James, nice year. I'm telling y'all, this team's nice now. This team's nice. Uh, I'm going to upgrade players, and we're going to see if we can uh, simulate this first playoff game and get the win. All right, first playoff game is against the Tennessee Titans. Honestly, I like our team better. I think our roster is better. And it's a defensive battle, but we get the win. We're going to upgrade players and hop into the next. All right, we got Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a decent team, but what what's their quarterback going to do? That's the question, and it looks like not much. We light them up 38 to 14, and we are in the Super Bowl just like that. Year two, man. I don't, it's not hard to build winning teams in Madden. It's just not. Uh, we're going to upgrade players. We're going to hop in. We're going to play the Super Bowl. All right, I want to get some content with both Khalil Mack and, uh, and Mike Williams. So we're going to play both offense and defense, something I normally don't do. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. But let's see if we can get this win. Um, I honestly haven't played both offense and defense in... A very long time. It's usually one or the other, so it's going to be interesting managing clock and stuff like that. I can handle things very differently now on the offensive side of the ball because I don't have to worry about the quick sim garbage stuff. Uh, we're still going to try to take as much time off the clock as we can, uh, so hopefully we can get Eckler going early. Um, I'd love to not even have to use Mike Williams and David Bell and all those guys, you know? I'd love that. Look at that. Eckler, first play of the game. He picks up a first down for us just like that. 10 yards. Uh, didn't give us the first down. I don't care. We're going to get it on this next run. Um, the offensive line is much better now. Uh, Cade Mays ended up being awful. He's not going to start for us. Um, but Zion Johnson was a massive hit, as I thought he was. Um, he ended up developing into a really good player, too. Uh, so perfect pick for us right there. Exactly what we needed. Um, Ertz, I mean, obviously, he produced for us all, or all season, it looks like. And he's going to be our first target right here. Honestly, kind of an ugly-looking throw from Herbert, but... Easy first down, the offense is moving the ball easily. Um, exactly what we want to, to start out. Let's see if we can get our big uh, big free agent, Mike Williams, our big uh, re-signing, see if we can get him involved. And yeah, he's gonna be open, makes the grab, drops it. All right, I mean, I guess he kind of got picked a little bit, slowed him down, let, let the defender catch up, but he still, sh still should have had that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go back to Eckler. Hit that gap, yes! Perfect, got skinny right at the right spot, and we picked up another good uh, good game, like 14 yards. Um, Eckler, not gonna lie, personally, I think he's a little overrated, um, but he's very talented still. He gets the job done really, really well. Um, I think a lot of people seem to seem to be on him as like a top top 10 back. I don't know if he's quite there, but uh, he, does, he does perform very well. He's been very effective uh, with the Chargers. I, uh, I wish they used him more in the passing game. It feels like they don't use him as much as they should in the uh, in the passing game, which is a little disappointing. I feel like I definitely meant to audible out of that, but that's fine. Uh, Mike Williams, he's going to hold on to it this time. A nice grab right there. We've already got it down almost to the end of the first quarter, and we are, uh, we're we're moving the ball very easily. We're about to score here. Let's see, we're going to go to Mike Williams underneath once again. He's open, makes the... 
man. I keep talking too early. Keep hyping this man up, saying he makes the catch, but I'm always wrong. Uh, he's got two drops to his name in the Super Bowl already. I Drop is a little harsh, but he's got two, two balls that hit the ground when they were targeting him. Good carry from Eckler there. That's going to end the first quarter, and we are going to be all the way down on the one-yard line. Uh, let's just punch this in. Let's get it done. Uh, or let's run the ball or throw the ball because I clicked the wrong play. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Nope. Williams and Bell are both locked up. Herbert. Herbert's going to take off. He's going to run it in. But whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Herbert gets the first touchdown to the Super Bowl. Going to simulate these kicks really, really, uh, really fast. And we are down, uh, down on defense now. Let's get it. Uh, Khalil Mack, he's going to have to do his thing off the edge on his own. We'll let him go to work. I think he's going to... I think he's going to be effective for us. I like this duo uh, right there. Oof. Good play. Dalton Schultz. A man's, man is a talented tight end. Man is a talented tight end. He, uh, he's productive in Dallas. So this team, Dallas, definitely not looking how they're going to look in real life. Uh, definitely not going to have Amari Cooper back, it sounds like. Zeke is maybe gone if, uh, if this next season doesn't go well. We'll see. Uh, but right there, Zeke gets uh, two. Nothing crazy. Let's see what we got. We got to get the stop. I really like this defense we built too. Honestly, I really, really like this team. There's so much uh, star power on it, I feel like. Dang it, I got picked up. I thought I had a clear shot. We get picked up at the last second, and Zeke gets a nice carry. Uh, not a nice carry, good catch. Catch and run right there, 15 yards. That's not what we need. We got to get there sooner. That's on me. That's on me. We got we to gotta find, find a way to slow them down. Uh, I got caught again, man. All right, good play right there. Bye. Khalil Mack, he's going to get the run stuff. Nothing there. Uh, stop for no gain, I guess, technically. I want to say a stop for a, or a tackle for loss so I can sound a little cooler, but not quite that time. It, ooh, I don't think he got his feet in, honestly. I don't think he got him in. We'll see what it says. It gave it to him. Shoot, I can't call it. I can't challenge it anymore because it's under the two-minute warning. I didn't think his feet landed in. They gave it to him. It's fine. We can work around it. We can, we can get a turnover here. Let's see what we got. Hayward gets mossed. Are you kidding me? He fell out of bounds. Yes, he fell out of bounds. He got mossed. I don't... I. It's weird because sometimes I feel like the defenders get, like, all the advantage on the animations. Like, you'll be in bad position and they'll go up and make a play. And other times they literally just stand there and watch the guy make the catch. Super annoying, honestly. Go, go. No, what are you doing, Mac? Oh... Mac just blew it. I thought he was stepping up to go make the tackle on Prescott. Instead, he watches him run right past him. That is not good. All right, what can we do? Come on. Bro, I'm doing, like, the lean forward and everything. I'm, like, not liking this. Nah, that was a good play. That was a good play. Dang it. Gave him the flats in the red zone. That's stupid. That's bad on me. That was not a good drive for defense. Cleo Mac made one nice play. Kind of blew another. Um, but I didn't call the right defense there a couple times. And we paid for it. So, let's see. We've got a minute 17 left. Can we drive down the field and get this done? We're going to start with a quick pass to Mike Williams. He's going to get cracked by Keanu Neal, but nothing crazy there. A uh, minute left. we got to move quick, and for some reason, my hurry up did not go through. That hurts. We can try to take the top off with these boys. We have, we have, the, we have the big play threat, that's for sure. And Keenan? He's got position. He dropped it. Are you kidding me? Mans goes up. Literally has it. All the positioning in the world. And he drops it. That's not what we wanted to see. We're probably going to try to go to David Bell here. Yeah, he's wide open. Toe tap. We'll take it. Should have thrown that way sooner. Could have been a much bigger game. But I was trying to look for Mike Williams over the top. I was getting greedy. Getting greedy. No denying that. Uh, let's see. Let's run verts. Hopefully Mike Williams can get open. I want to get Mike Williams involved. I really do. Uh, we're going to go to David Bell underneath. Ew, no. Yes. Yes, he came back to it. Horrible throw. He got hit as he threw. David Bell works his way back to the quarterback, makes a nice catch, and uh, he saves the day. He gets us almost in uh, almost in field goal range. Let's see if we can hit maybe this post. What is it looking like? Is it man? I don't know what kind of defense they're running. Trey McKitty, he's going to make the catch. We're going to call a timeout. We got one more play. I think I'm going to run PA crossers, see if, we can get, uh, see if we can get something open to the sideline on the right side. We'll run verts. We'll run verts. I like verts. All right. We'll see if someone ends up breaking open. Oh, David Bell just might. He just... That's tough. That's really tough. I'm disappointed by that. David Bell had a shot at a touchdown. We'll take our points, though. We'll take our points. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. 
Uh, we got we're back on defense. We're back on defense. Time to get a stop. You gotta show these uh, show these Cowboys what's up. Their, their offense looks so good now. It's ridiculous. All those X factors. That's scary. Come on. Yes, Asante Samuel. He makes the play. That is huge. Beautiful play to start out the second half. I don't know what Dak Prescott was thinking. We had perfect coverage there. Gets the position, and he gets the interception. That's a complete game changer. We score on this drive. This game is over. We're going to be grinding as much clock as we possibly can. Leighton Van Der Esch, nice play right there, but uh, I don't think it's going to slow us down. Uh, I know. All right, let's see. So, Chargers fans, how are y'all feeling about these moves? Y'all got Khalil Mack, an absolute stud pass rusher. You get your boy Mike Williams back. You did pay Mike Williams a fortune. I'm not going to lie. I think he got overpaid pretty heavily. But he's a big-time player. He's a big-time receiver. He can he can, he can can be a big impact player for you guys. Um, I think Herbert's got a really good throwing style that matches his play style, I guess. Like, I think Herbert and Williams should work well together, theoretically, the more they play with each other. Um, I mean, I really like Herbert's long ball, and Mike Williams obviously is the big body that can go up and get that ball. So I like the match. I like the fit. I think it's good. We'll see how it turns out for him, honestly. There's a lot left to, to see. I don't know how it's going to go. We haven't really taken advantage of it at all here just because Eckler's been amazing running the ball. And uh, David Belt, honestly, big-time playmaker for us. That was a great pick uh, in the third for us. He's been huge. Honestly, should have gone to him right there. I'm hoping... Nope, he did not. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong button. Knew it as soon as I threw it, clicked the wrong button. That was not good. Um, but Leighton Van Der Esch, he's not going to make the play there. <sighs> Eckler, we go to work, man. Come on. I'm counting on him. That's funny. This is not the person I thought I'd be counting on in this game, but he is beasting for us right now. 8.2 yards per carry. That retooled offensive line is going to work, and I'm loving it. But yeah, uh, Chargers fans, let me know what you guys think you want to see for the rest of the offseason from this team. Uh, I think the second round pick you guys gave up was next year, not this year. So you're still going to have both your first and second round picks in the draft. You can make some big time impact impact uh, selections there. Um, I really like the potential of where this team's going. I really, really do. I mean, Herbert is obviously, he's a stud. I think he's got the potential to be a like once in a lifetime prospect. We're going to take it all the way down to the end of the third quarter already. Um, but yeah, Herbert, he's amazing. Your offensive playmakers are great. And uh, you're gonna have the potential potential to make him even better. Keenan Allen, wide open, touchdown. We take a two-score lead. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the defense do its thing from here on out. I'm gonna just sim. Uh, we have to actually we have to actually check. Since since we got our big play on defense and uh, it looks like the game's pretty much over. I don't wanna um, don't wanna waste too much of y'all's time. And never mind, they score just like that, so that's why you don't do that. Um, but we got plenty of time to plenty of time to well. We're gonna try to run the clock down. We'll see what happens. Not on a play like that. I don't know what 75 got stuck on. Is that uh is that Bulaga? Might be Bulaga. Not a good play right there though. May come back to bite us in the ass. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Ertz underneath, get the first. I think he fought for it. I think he did. Yes, he did. What a play by Ertz. Amazing, amazing play. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Eckler. Eckler. Yeah, Eckler's wide open. Oh, Herbert got roughed too. Dang, it didn't take us down to the two-minute warning. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll take the rough. Yeah, we'll take the roughing the passer. I was going to say we'll just try to run clock, but we'll take it. Uh, that's going to make it a first down. We're going to be able to take almost all their timeouts at this point. That's great. I think... I don't want to say the game's over, but it's pretty much over. <laughs> See, let's get it outside. No, ah, wanted to get it outside. We don't. No big deal though. Um, let's see. Let's see. Run this inside zone. What can we do? All right, minute 58. We got to get one more first down, and we get one more first down. The game's over. Eckler gets a nice pick up there. Five more yards. We're almost down in field goal range too. Almost down in field goal range too. Come on, come on, come on. Off the left. Can't. We're going to put the hands, or the ball in the hands of Justin Herbert. They locked down the guy I wanted, Ertz. There's no chance that we just, we're going for it. 
That's ridiculous. Literally bounced straight off of Ertz's butt. David Bell, wide open, makes the grab. What a pick that was for us. David Bell ended up being a monster. So clutch for us. So happy with that pick. I I, I was 100% going off of bias. I personally like David Bell a lot. I was 100% going off of bias on here uh, for him, and that ended up being probably the best pick of the day for me. And Mike Williams is going to end the game just like that. Beautiful first down catch. Um, that's it. That's the game. That's a dub. Feels good. Feels good. I really like the team, guys. I really, really do. I love what the Chargers have done. I love getting Khalil Mack. He's not what he once was. There's no denying that, but he's still a heck of a player. Um, and they're going to be pairing him up with Joey Bosa. They're going to be pairing him up with Derwin James. Like Those are studs on the defensive side of the ball. That's scary to play against. Um, so I really love it. I do. Um, we're going to run it with Eckler here. He's going to get a nice big carry. Um, I really like that combination, though. I think it's really, really good. It, it just... Things look good for the Chargers right now. Getting Mike Williams back, it's. I think they overpaid Mike Williams a little bit, but I mean, we got to understand that contract values are going to keep going up. I mean, you're going to be seeing bigger and bigger contracts for receivers, so it's not going to seem that crazy probably in the next year or two. Um, I mean, you got Justin Herbert back there playing quarterback. You're, you're set. I was wanting my team, the Giants, to take Herbert when he came out. I'd, I'd, I'd been thinking he was going to be great this whole time, and he is far surpassed my expectations even. Herbert is amazing. He's gonna be a incredible player for years to come. The Chargers have a future to look forward to. They really do. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please drop a like, drop a sub. It does help me out a lot. Um, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. Drop some comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the off season so far. Uh, keep clicking on the videos. I'm gonna keep putting them out for y'all and I hope to keep seeing you guys coming back. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace guys.